Hello, how are you doing? How is you? Sorry for the lack of uploads for the last week or two. Um, I guess we care for a cold, so yeah. But I am back. We back again. We're gonna do this, and we're back with doing starting the leeway quest because um, lantern right here, and apparently I can't do the quest without finishing the leeway story. I think. Right, once we step foot to labor for the right of reception, perception, reception, the right of perception, whatever you call it, we have a web to leeway for the right dissension where we get to hopefully meet Mr. Jean, I mean, Mr. Morax, <laughs> so we can achieve our goal of being all the seven. And so we ask the locals where the, the right dissension is placed, but they just ended up just inventing. Whilst our god is forever with us. Ma'am, you don't go ahead, this Venti. Motherfucker. Stay in Liyue long enough and you'll see. Given that you just left your godless city. Wow. You experienced what it's like to be in a city whose god has walked with it through all of history. Wow, this this on Venti. What the fuck did Venti ever do to you? I think I've lived in Liyue all these years. Liyue always welcomes you. Thanks. And That's saying like Liyue two, two different ways. And the only person who gave us the right direction was a sussy die with, with a certain accent. Vacation. Huh? But why? Do they make special rocks? What? Anyways, we arrived to write in session. Ah! Made our wish. I thought they didn't mind us just cutting through the line. And then we the see... <laughs> oh. Well. That's a dead dragon if I ever saw a dead dragon. Rex Lapis has been killed. Seal the exits. Uh. Well. <laughs> well, I guess. Paimon's freaking out. The killer is amongst us. <laughs> I'm not gonna do that joke. The whole bunch of soldiers out there too. Your identity. You may not be the killer, but we can't let them get you. But can we even get out of here safely? I mean, why do we have to sneak around anyways? Like, bro, we didn't do anything wrong. <laughs> like, sneaking out makes us even more look more suspicious than we already are. I mean, we could have easily escaped if we just went through, just went out that way, but I guess not. We need a voluntary cutscene where we almost got caught. Or escaping a crime scene. I mean, I don't blame them. To run. <laughs> I just escaped a crime scene. Oh. But then we were saved by this gender dude. Okay. It's definitely not a Fatui. I'm Futui. With a three star bow. Let's go, child. Stop! Stop! Come with me. Oh, I have to. Okay. Now we learned that this dude is named Child. Or his alias, anyways. And he says that he knows that we didn't do it, uh, but since I he's part of Futuli Harbingers. So I couldn't help but notice you during the proceedings back there. And because I had my eye on you the whole time, I know it wasn't you. Someone else was clearly behind it. But, regrettably, given I'm a Fatui envoy from Snezhnaya, there's no way I'd be trusted after something of this magnitude. The ruling Chi Sing of Liyue has always been overly They probably won't believe us. I mean, can you blame them? Can you honestly blame them? And so, we meet up at his house, I mean, the bank, and he gives us a schedule of permission. And he tells us that we need to go to the Depti and ask them for justice? Question mark? Mm. If this place is sacred, why do we go here for commission? <laughs> then we went to Junkarst, 
Who met Mooncarver? Hello. And who might we be? Those that dare enter Dweyun Karst. Ah, uh, yes. Hello, Aether. I mean, by the time I mean Sack Alagar. <laughs> <laughs> and before we can say anything, uh, Ningguan's men Karst. has interrupted us. Bro. Uh, sir, we've already stepped too far into Dweyun Karst ourselves. We. Ah, there's no choice. Apprehending the assassin is top priority. We must press on. Ningbo must not care about her people by sending them to a place that's so sacred that they were probably murdered to get to get killed. <laughs> Disturbing our borders. See them gone. And since Mukaru doesn't like interruptions, we were ordered to kill these men. Got a boss. And after that, we told him that uh, Rex Lapis is kinda dead. <laughs> The Rex Lapis kind of died. Preposterous. Preposterous. You made our way to Mooncarver. Swallowed up my brother Lee Dang. I ran away and Dang. this far before dawn. <laughs> I beg you, show me some adept I mercy. <clears throat> of your transgression, your predicament, and your repentance, one has become aware. Thanks be to the adeptus of Mount Hulao and to their messengers. <laughs> Never will we be so foolish again. Whoa, check you out. When you speak like that, you actually make a pretty convincing adept I, <laughs> I am. <laughs> <laughs> Is he down here then? We saved the dude's brother for being encased in Amber. Anyway. God damn it. Mukaru did not like that, so he went to talk to us. And because we had a such a permission, he couldn't pack our eyes out. Yep. And so we told him about Rex Lapis and what happened. In all the world would conspire to commit such foul treason. Or perhaps the more pertinent question is, what power in this world could aspire to achieve it? But now, alas, Rex Lapis, gone. I love how Rex Lapis is giving all his adapters like a heart attack. <laughs> He's probably gonna go out, go like visit them, and be like, "Hey, I'm still alive, bud." And then we made our way to Cloud Retainer, made some food for her. And then we went through a dungeon twice. I accidentally, I <laughs> some trial during. Oh, yeah, I don't have to do this the dungeon, anymore. so that kind of kicked me out. And so I was forced to do right, the same puzzles again, but without the prices because I already have them. What the fuck? It's just like the story say: the adepti leave the human world, find somewhere to go be a hermit, and then they research and invent all these amazing things. Pardon, that sounds like an insult. And so we talked to Kyle Trainer. We told her what happened to Rex Lapis. Assassinated. Yep. How can this be? Such a heinous crime. Who would dare? The notion is so preposterous as to be unbelievable. One shall have Since she decided that arson would need to be committed. Perhaps one shall quash Liyue first, then convene with the other Adepti. Cloud Return? Wait, what? Did you just say squash Liyue Harbor? Are you seriously gonna wipe out the whole city? Yeah, that's a bit much. We have protected Liyue Harbor under the leadership of Rex Lapis. And then we try to calm her down saying, Hey, don't kill Liyue Harbor, please. <laughs> so, we are blood because we put her under a contract for feeding her food. We can punish the whole entire country for it. Yikes. Then we made our way to Wangshu Inn to try to talk to Shao. To the blind, uh. everything may not be as it appears. Oh, so <laughs> a sigil of permission? You came prepared. Though this only prevents me from hurting you myself, doesn't stop you from getting hurt in other ways. That's cool. He means that if I accidentally fall off the roof, I'm dead. <laughs> Paimon? Paimon wants to give him an ugly nickname. 
But if you take off an adeptus, the only thing you'll probably ever find in treasure chests is cabbages. Blech. But since he's a Sundari, he doesn't want to listen to us. Well, Xiao actually likes salad, though. I'm just imagining Xiao just sucking salad in its face. And so we had to make him his favorite food, almond tofu. But apparently we can't make it. We need this dude, Mr. Smiley here, very smiley, need to make to make the tofu for us. It's for the boss. Yeah. I see. If it's for the boss, then guess I don't have a choice now, do I? But since he's scared of a ghost child. Uh, yes. Uh, ah, yes. A ghost child. <laughs> yeah, we have a ghost child on our hands. What? There she is! So scary! Quick, you! You grab her! How do you grab a ghost? How do you grab a ghost? Isn't that kind of impossible? Child? Oh, that's not. Okay, child, it's time to stop. And that's a lie. Because we never come back here ever again. And then go back and say, oh, the ghost child will not curse you anymore. And then he decides to make us the almond tofu. How does he not know about the suspicious activities around Wang Shu in? Ow! 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 Look at me, my boy! You two, again. Yes. And after that, we went back to Xiao. We gave him a tofu. The and then Lapis. we told him the dead. shit that happened. Told him the Rex Lapis is kind of dead. How could this be? I can't imagine it. Though times have changed, I've never imagined a Liyue without him. The ruling Qixing. Just what role have they played in this? Wait! Paimon still has one last question. Question. Hmm? She's... When conquering demons, on occasion, you can come across spirits who have never hurt anyone, yet are also not yet able to be moved on. So I asked the innkeeper and the boss if they could keep her here for a time. So really? Wang Xuin was looking after her. Really keeping a wide range of business going, huh? Yep. And I'm then our ghost. mission was done. Chad, have you been here waiting here all day? Does he not- does he not have anything else to do, just sit here all day? Hello, child. You finally returned. How is Tell him what happened. It's been eventful. Very eventful. I see. No comment. <laughs> nice answer. A knight that gets duped by the Fatui would really be no knight at all now, would they? But, I can help you with that too, you know? No, you can't. <laughs> And then he says he's gonna go ahead and try to find a son who can tell us where the Xuvia, aka Rex Sapphis' body, is located so we can meet the Seven. And so we wait till the next day to meet this mysterious person. Hey, future Queenie here. I am editing right now and I am just here to give you a nice little update. I'll let you guys know that um, a lot have been done to my account. And I apologize for the delay. Um, I'll be honest with you, I was hit with burnout because this is a new editing style and I just didn't know how to do it. And that caused me to delay all my episodes and I, also, I apologize. I want to get better, so I'm working towards it. So next episodes are in the works right now. They're just going to be slow. So I hope you guys are okay with that. And wait for my uploads because it really does make me happy and motivates me to upload even more. So uh, let me give you guys some updates on what I think I'm gonna do.
The next five star hotel is around when I'm recording at the moment. I am going to skip hotel because the new trailer was came out, new Genshin trailer came out, and Ayaka is coming soon, and I would prefer to have a crawl unit, and perhaps Ayaka could help me get the flying birds in Ocead and help me level up my hydro units. So yeah, I am going to skip hotel and I'm going to go for Ayaka next. So I'm saving all my premium jumps up for that. At the moment, I'm still free to play. I haven't spent anything in the game yet. Yet. <laughs> so I'm relatively free to play. So, um, the last time uh, this was recorded, I have done a lot. Uh, I have completed the Lewis story quests and I just need to do the Dane stuff quests. Kasuha, and then go to Inazuma, and I can get stuff for Ayaka. And so, let me guys show you what the characters I've got. Spoiler alert, if you guys don't want to know, you guys can just skip this part altogether. But if you guys are curious, I am more than happy to, to do that. Let me show you guys the characters I have at the moment of recording. So, we have Traveler that's level 70 right now. He has the flute that I'm building at the moment. And the artifact, I'm still getting the dendro artifacts for him, but yep. And here's his talents. And here's Shengling, her talents. Her artifacts is half and half. I'm gonna get the full crimson set eventually. And her weapon, the crimson pike, is still relatively the same, and she is still level 60. And Barbara is still level 50 because oh she has a big pain in the ass. She's still walking the <laughs> the tails of Dragon Slayers. And we're getting there. I just need to get more drops from Oshiad. But it's getting really hard to do so. So let me show you the new characters. We got Yunjin from a summon, which is a very lucky summon actually. And it's a funny way I got her, so look forward to the, seeing that in the next episodes. She's level 40 at the moment. Her weapon of choice is Prototype Star Glitter. Uh, she has Exile. Most of her artifacts um, do have um, do have defense percentage. So that's, yep, we have Yunjin. And then we have Shinyan, which I also got from a 7. 4444 four, four, four talents. Artifacts is Galliator for now with my with a few five star artifacts that I've got from the bosses And she has a debate club at the moment. I'm still I am looking for replacements, but she's okay with a debate club at the moment And she is currently level 60 and During the lantern right we did manage to get a ticket to invite Singcho who is level 50 has a sacrificial sword. Artifacts are questionable. But yeah, we now have all the characters I could have got in that panner. I was very lucky to get Yunjin, Shinyan, Fugacha, and then in Vaishinkyo. So I have a good amount of characters right now. And I'm just gonna save up for Ayaka. And that is the update that I wanna show you guys. So I hope you guys look forward to the future episodes where I will work on them slowly but surely. Hopefully I'm not gonna be too late. And hopefully and hopefully I get better with uploading because it is relatively new. I hope you guys look forward to all the episodes that are gonna be uploaded eventually. Because I am working on them currently. And hopefully we can get Ayaka. That's gonna be the end of today's episode. Please do take care of yourself, stay hydrated, and I'll see you guys next time.